I posted my first video one year ago from when this video is being uploaded, 366 days ago. When I posted it, I thought it may be my only video <laughs> that I would ever post, but yeah. Um, yeah, that, that didn't quite happen, yeah. But yeah, it was a pretty simple video, a pretty basic concept, why you should destroy your diamonds in Minecraft. I think it's common sense, I probably didn't need to make the video. Everyone knows that you should just destroy your diamonds in Minecraft, like seriously. But you know, at the time, I thought it was pretty important to get my message out there, to get my one ultimatum to this world. Then I decided to continue on with some other Minecraft stuff for a while until I decided to play um, a certain game called um, Hearts of Iron 4, yeah. I made my first video on it when I had like a hundred hours in the game or something so I wasn't very good I just you know started playing this one mod <clears throat> I started playing a lot of this one mod for those of you who don't know I uploaded EAW videos every other day for almost like eight months sometimes more often never less often I think it was actually every other day for eight months pretty much without a break sometimes I would take a break but it was on the other day and on the other day I was usually posting other videos anyway I was really committed to that one mod for a long time yeah but it was fun though it's a surprisingly good and undercovered mod and like I actually really enjoyed the mod like the first time I played it I was like ah, I've heard so much about this mod and I've heard that it's actually good but is it actually good or is it just like a meme, people say it's good, it's like has low expectations, so you could say it's good, but Equestria War is actually a really good mod. The best part of it's probably it's allusions to other things too. You'd think it's just kind of gonna be cringe, but it's actually so well developed. It was really good, there was a lot of fun stuff, I had a lot of fun time making those videos, but most importantly that's kind of where I got better at making videos honestly. I have a playlist of every single video on that mod I've made, over a hundred videos on that one Hearts of Iron 4 mod, and you can watch that, and you can like see the Progression the channel went through though and a lot of it too is from feedback from new people joining from Comments and just from overall growth like I can't say it enough how much the community aspect of this channel has helped out so much Just from people watching to liking to commenting to people on discord too Like I think that's one of the major steps on this channel too is when I first created the Discord, the Shaky Bakery. If you if you have no clue why it's a bakery, it's a very long story that involves a meme about a dread league that became a bread league, and then the bread league was the bakery, and yeah, there was there's a lot of stuff, and maybe Hoi4 mod being made about it. But before I get like too far into things too, like my first video ever to get 100 views was that first EAW video. It got like 100 views in 24 hours or whatever, which was insane when I first posted it. Before that, I think I'd made like 14-ish Minecraft craft videos all of them got like 10 20 ish views so like to get a hundred in 24 hours is kind of crazy for that I was extremely surprised I think I only got one comment on the video too but like still I was I was kind of dumbfounded by getting that many views in 24 hours and like at that point I had I think 17 subscribers or maybe like 20 or something, but I don't know. It was kind of crazy. After posting videos every other day for two months, I had 100 subscribers in late-ish November. It was around Thanksgiving or something. For for the new year, I made a goal to get 200 subscribers before 2022. I had some surprisingly like a big boost of growth around like the holiday season, kind of around there. On the week of Christmas and New Year's Eve, like the channel had some crazy growth. Of course, like, in terms of now, it wasn't that much, but, like, for- in terms of back then, it was kind of crazy. Like, I think I got 100 subscribers in a week. I hit 500 subscribers before the new year, I believe, which was, like, crazy, and I had made a goal to play as the Dread League, you know, the Dread League, Bread League thing. <laughs> the Dread League for 500 subscribers, because it was, it was a pretty hard country to play as, and I'd received so many requests of people telling me to play as them that I decided I'd give them a try. Yeah, but yeah, the next big milestone was like in early February hitting a thousand subscribers, which is really cool. It was like really fast from 500 straight to a thousand, which was really cool, honestly. And after that, the channel did kind of slow down in growth for a long time, like for three-ish months. I think five to ten subs every day, just small growth, and it was all fun too. I think I made a lot of fun videos at that point too, and it was still kind of just the basic EAW every other day. That was really the only thing that got me 
many views. On the other days, I would just play some other mod. Things kind of just stayed that way for a long time until the channel kind of started picking up some traction in April with some multi with a multiplayer video and just some other videos that were doing a little bit better than normal. But things really kind of started to pick up with a time lapse video I made. Time lapse video a little cursed, not <laughs> what my channel is mainly based around, but I decided to make one just, you know, kind of for the fun of it too, because I had been doing AI onlys just in my free time to see what nations would win if it was just the AI, so then I could see where I could try to have impact to change the game, if that makes any sense. And so one day I was just like, yeah, I'll record it. So I did. I made a time lapse video. I tried to make it at least decent quality, and it actually ended up becoming the most viewed video on my channel. It still is, to this day, I believe, the most viewed with like 160 ish thousand or something. So technically, all my most viewed videos are still all time lapse videos, even though that's not really what I specialize in here. But yeah, the time lapse Hoi Force scene is, has gone to interesting places. It may seem like it was kind of a bad idea to try to do that, to get a lot of people to start watching my stuff that are mainly there for time lapses when I'm still trying to mainly make non-time lapse videos, but overall it actually really helped my channel because I felt like if I had really good high quality time lapse videos, people might watch some of the other stuff that I'm better at making than time lapses. Kind of more of my more specialty stuff, which is more regular let's plays, made in kind of a cinematic way at times. It seemed to actually work, like a lot of my other videos started doing really well, like I could make videos on Hoi4 mods that weren't EAW and, and still get a normal amount of views for my channel. And so I hit 2,000 subscribers in early May, kind of before this started, and then 10,000 two months later in July, in late July, so. And that was also in large part due to getting a shout out from Alex the Rambler too, which really meant a lot to me because his videos is what convinced me to buy Hearts of Iron 4 in the first place, actually. I first figured out about Hearts of Iron 4 from Drew's videos because I was a big Civ 6 fan, so of course I found his stuff after a while, and then through him I found Hoi 4, and then through that I found Alex's videos, and then I eventually decided to buy the game, like in, June a year ago. Also a big shout out to people who've been around for a long time and my patrons to really do make this actually possible, honestly. I'm sure there's a lot of requests for me to do more of certain mods and stuff, but I also want to hear like other things that you guys have liked, like my favorite video to make personally was the giving <laughs> Great Britain a Gibraltar in every country editing wise. Gameplay wasn't the best to be fair because um, it was pretty much just really annoying Britain versus max buffed Axis but I, I really enjoyed editing the video kind of a skit thing at the start. Usually videos with that don't perform too well but that video was really fun to make and did well. I really enjoyed that one. And I wonder if you guys would want me to do more stuff like that, possibly, or if you guys would just prefer more pure Hoi4 video stuff. I, I don't really know. But yeah, I do have a lot of kind of non-Hoi4 stuff planned in the future. All things kind of relating to grand strategy gaming, kind of still, in weird ways, still all tied in. It's not like I'm gonna start doing a whole bunch of, of irrelevant stuff. I just have a couple things planned that I think are going to be kind of interesting, possibly. Kinda just wanna see where it goes. It could be really good, could be bad, but a few cool video ideas coming in the future, too. So hopefully you guys enjoy some of that stuff. I, I really don't know how it's gonna go. But yeah, it's also kind of crazy. Like, if a year ago you told me I would have made over 300 videos on this one game, I would, would have never really believed you because... I don't know, besides Minecraft when I was younger, I really don't play the same game for like longer than maybe six months if I really like it. Like with Civ 6 and EU4 and stuff, it was like, those are both six months, usually it's less. To have made so many videos on this game and to still enjoy it too, like I feel like it's pretty common for people to get burnout, especially when playing Hoi 4, but I, I don't know, I've always enjoyed it. I still really do enjoy the game. I'm especially loving multiplayer too recently, which I don't really like multiplayers for most games, especially strategy games, so it's kind of surprising, honestly. Yeah, I think one of the big things that made me so interested in this game is mods too. 
For some reason, I don't know why Hoi4 just has so many good mods and so many new mods. Like, this has to be one of the top video games for mods of all time. Like, I have no clue why there are so many good mods and why the community for this game is so big. Like, I don't, I don't know. I just never suspected it. And most people don't even know what Hearts of Iron 4 is, but there's like quite an amazing community around this game. Like, it's crazy and so much diverse things. It just, I, I don't know, it just still baffles me. 99.9% .9 of people I know have no clue what this game is. I think I only know, like, two people in real life who know what this game is. Besides the ones that only know about it because of my YouTube channel. Besides that, there's only two people I've met who already played this game. But anyways, I guess I'll see you guys in like a year, I guess, when I make another video that's not just a meme, or maybe this entire video was just a meme. I, I, I don't know. Wait, why is there like... Why is it like kind of cloudy over Austria and Czechoslovakia? Wait, is that just like snow? Oh, but why is the snow only here? Wait, what? Anyways, I guess I'll see you guys next time.